Hey guys, Tien here from BlueSense Digital, and in this video, we're sorry, in this video, we're going to go through how to set up a product reviews feed on your shopping listings, and how to push these product reviews from your website or your store over to the merchant center, and obviously have those reviews reflected on your shopping listings. So the first step we're going to need to do is head on over to the Merchant Center and enable all of these features. So head on over to the Merchant Center, first step, go under Growth, and then go to Manage Programs. And we'll need to enable two things here. So firstly is the Customer Reviews section, so hit Enable. And you'll just have to read this um, agreement over here. Hit, I have read this agreement, save and continue. Once that's gone through there, then you should be good there head back out of there and you should see that that card says enabled or active. So customer reviews enabled, which is sorry, enabled, which is what you want to see. Next step, go down to the product ratings tab down at the bottom here. And as you can see, I've enabled this already. And just for reference, in order to have a shared reviews feed reflected on your product listings, you'll need to enable this product ratings section here. And I'll attach a video going into more detail here in this video's description. So once you've followed that process and this is enabled and the customer reviews is enabled, what you'll see is if you go under the marketing tab over here, you'll see this product, re product reviews um, tab now appears. So click on that and head into this section. And as you can see, we haven't uploaded any reviews into this section just yet. And our status is inactive. So those are just two things to keep in mind. We'll obviously come back to this in more detail. So once you've followed all of that, we'll now need to head on over to the Shopify store or whatever store you're using and head over to your reviews app. So usually brands will be using some sort of third party review aggregator. So for example, Akendo reviews or Judge Me reviews, Trustpilot, the list goes on. And usually how these third party reviews aggregators work is you'll collect and store all of your reviews within the third party review aggregator. So just open that app in its own app or, its, or in its own tab. And what we'll need to do is find the connecting URL that essentially stores all of those reviews. So just to give you a quick visual representation of how this works. So you have your GMC account, sorry, with a very bad drawing. You've got your Google Merchant Center account here and you've got a Kendo reviews or whatever platform you're using or third party aggregator that you're using to store your reviews and collect your reviews and manage your reviews. Now in order to sync these reviews across to the merchant center, we need a URL. So essentially how this works is it's kind of like a cloud based system. So we have our little cloud up over here. Um, Akendo reviews will essentially upload those reviews to the cloud. It'll give us a URL to you know, reference those reviews. And we then add that URL into the Merchant Center as a way to then push those reviews into the Merchant Center. So that's just to explain how this process works. So heading out of here, we now need to obviously find that URL in the third party aggregator. Now, obviously every um, app is different. So you'll have to just look around or contact the support team to find that URL. But just for reference in a Kendo reviews, just head on over to, sorry, head on over to integrations over here. And then you should be able to find that under the Google shopping section. So just hit the pencil icon. Um, and then as you can see down at the bottom here, here is our product or sorry, our reviews URL. So we'll have to copy that. And now we're going to add that reviews URL into the Merchant Center. So head back on over to the Merchant Center, um, go to from all reviews, go to reviews feeds, and we're going to need to add a new reviews feed. So hit the blue plus icon. And we'll just name this, we'll just call this test in this example. And we're not going to upload the reviews, we're going to use a scheduled fetch feature to fetch those reviews from the URL. So hit scheduled fetch, hit continue. Um, file name, we can just call that test. You can name that file, whatever you'd like. Choose when you'd like that um, or when you'd like the Merchant Center to pull the reviews from that file and then paste your URL that you've just copied from the third party reviews aggregator into this file URL section here. And that is pretty much the setup process. So I 
do not want to set up a reviews feed in this circumstance. So I'm not going to hit create feed. Um, but obviously, once you followed those steps, just hit create feed and give that some time. And then what you'll notice is all those reviews will start populating in this reviews section here. Now, the last thing to note is this status or status up at the top here. It does take quite a while for this to be reviewed by Google. So, you know, for the, for the first couple of weeks, once you've uploaded reviews into the Merchant Center, this will stay as inactive. Um, once Google has reviewed everything, it'll change automatically to active. And obviously your reviews will then get reflected on the front end of your shopping listings like so. So that was the process. Hopefully that was a help. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.